Hello and welcome to episode 3. I'm Legit Neek. This is my insanity, uh, sorry, my Feed the Beast insanity bonus map playthrough. And as you can see, I've done a little bit of uh, tidying up, just a bit of design. Um, this is hopefully get a bit some monsters, sp uh, some animal spawning. Hopefully. <laughs> um, I was having a problem with my tree saplings keep pop kept popping out of the ground. But um, after after a little bit of research, I found out that the uh, the light level wasn't high enough because it's directly underneath the um, the beast. There wasn't enough light, and the sapling that I had over here was pretty much right next to the the lava source. So the light level was high enough over there, but um, it wasn't over here. So every time I turned around, I'd look back, and the, the sapling would just be sat on the ground. So I've uh, I've put a couple of torches around. And it's it's not it seems to have solved the problem, right? Um, this episode we're going to start working on our challenges because that is what the feed the beast is feed the beast map is all about. I'm going to make a little uh, platform, a little uh, walkway, so to speak, over to the over to the beast, and we'll go see what the first cha first challenge is. Now, don't let me forget to light this up, because we don't want any skeletons knocking us off or anything like that. Right, just want to bring this out. Let's uh, get rid of that one. Sorry, I do like my hair. Uh, my sym symmetry, as does most people I've uh, found out that play Minecraft. We all, all, all of us seem to have OCD. <laughs> That's probably why we play it. Right, this uh, lights up. One, two. Right, that'll do. Okay, let's go check out our. See what challenges we've got to make. Okay, so let's just have a look at this quick. Where their story begins, I suppose that'd be the uh, starting one. A redstone paradise, burn rubber, the Bronze Age, gated logic, advanced machines, the rings, items of power. Uh, there's one back here, which is uh, to make 100 million EU. I'm lagging quite a bit at this uh, area. Probably all the uh, wireless redstone and that about. Um, blood, sweat and tears, solar power, fires of hell. Blood and Water, Power Ranger, things that make you go boom, small but mighty, and a uh, crap ton of energy, we'll call that. Um, right, as, as you can obviously tell, the, the lights here correspond to uh, the position on the monument, and they correspond to the lights that we've been given here. So when, um, when we finish this first one, that will light up, and it will also light up on here, saying that we've done that section. Uh, this is the area that we uh, feed the beast from, so uh, we'll, we'll drop all the items into that, and uh, it should activate the the lights on this and give us give us our items to uh, move on to the next challenge. Right, so where our story begins, that's second from the top. So let's go check out what we've got to make. One more. There you go. Okay, where their story begins. 
We've got to make a screwdriver, a transmutation tab tablet, uh, a table, sorry, auto crafting table, an iron chest, a stone bowl, project table, a scoop, a torch, uh, four torches, sorry, and a jungle wood block. Right, that pretty all pretty easy to make. Uh, the only thing we're going to ha have a problem with really at the moment is a scoop because we're going to need some wool for that. Which um, if we don't get any sheep, we should have to wait um, until we've made our mob spawner, which we may start work on in a minute um, before we get any mobs from uh, before we get any string or anything, um, which can be turned into wool. So what I might do instead of starting on these, I may start on the mob spawner just to get that done and out of the way. So. Let's get started on that. Now the design I'm going to be using is pretty much the uh, the standard uh, mob spawner um, with a 3x3 three, three three opening for the mobs to um, drop down um, so we can have spiders and that and so we can collect some string. And But what we're going to be doing differently is we're going to be making the tower out of glass because uh, spiders cannot walk on glass and um, there was an update to Minecraft that means uh, spiders can pretty much climb walls and um, lots of people were having problems with uh, spiders like grabbing onto the walls as they were falling and they're just having like a load of uh, spiders sat at the bottom not dead um, taking up um, mob spawn spots sort of thing like for every spider that's there that's one another mob that's not going to be spawning up the top for us to uh, get the goodies from so We'll, we'll be making it out of glass so that um, anything that does fall, even a spider, won't be able to cling on and we'll just fall to its doom. So what we're going to need for that is lots and lots of stone, lots of co uh, lots of glass. Um, I may make a another pick. We need 11 for a pick, I believe it was. Yeah. Right, we'll We've got a pick, going to want lots and lots of stone. And then uh, we're going to want to cook up some sand. I don't think that's even going to be enough. <laughs> Sorry, OCD, everything's got to be all together. Um, Excuse me one second. Okay, we're back. Just checking the uh, the time of the episode. We should be good for now. Uh, let's put this away. Don't need that. We're going to want... Going to want to make a piece of... Oh, that's a bit big. Um, what was... Hmm... I cannot remember what the release charge was, so I'm just going to uh, try and do this without... Yeah, it's going to do all that, isn't it? Um... How do we want to do this without it? Uh... Alright, let me just have a think about this, guys. We're back in a minute. Okay, welcome back. Sorry about that. I, uh, for some reason, I couldn't work out how to discharge the, uh, like the power from the philosopher stone. So I, I, the only way I know of doing that is by using it in a crafting recipe. So I went ahead and made uh, the transmutation tablet for the item uh, for the challenge. I shall have to work out another way just to sort that out later on. But um, right, we've taught that to our chest, uh, to our chest. What we need to do now is cook that up. So what we're going to do is uh, use a bit of stone, a uh, bit of wood, sorry, because it's only a small task. I think we need eight. Yeah, there we go. Just to cook up this glass, uh, this sand, sorry. Get some glass, and then uh, what we can do is actually get a another piece of sand for our. Tablet, uh, our chest, and there we go. We've got our piece of glass. We'll teach that to our chest, uh, our tablet as well. So now we can just turn any any uh, cobble or whatever you into directly into um, glass. 
Right, what we're also going to do quickly while I'm while I'm just thinking about it, going to make ourselves our first diamond. Which is just made with four gold ingots and a floss of stone, we get a diamond out of that. And then uh, we can teach that to our table. And now we've got a uh, our standard is now going to be diamond sort of thing rather than uh, iron and that. So what we'll do, um, we'll take them out. We need I think we're going to need eight, nine for the first challenge list. Uh, with an iron chest, so it's eight, and then one for the screwdriver. And we can keep yep, yeah, we'll keep that one in there. We'll take this gold. We don't need that for the moment. And we'll put all that in here, see if we can get anything else out of it. There we go, we've got four diamonds, beautiful. And uh, some spare iron, awesome. Okay, we'll just put those away. And, wow, four diamonds already. <laughs> see what was that from like... Uh, very short trip down to the nether. That was four diamonds. Four diamonds worth. Okay. Right. What we could do. Yes, we're going. We're going to start our mob tower. We might as well. Um. Let me put these in here. Just so they're out of the way. We're going to turn all this iron into glass and such. Going to need lots of it. Probably going to need a bit more. Yep, that should do for glass. Um, I'll put that back in the chest. And um, we are going to need lots of stone as well. So we'll make another load of that. Put two of that in there. See how much stone we can get out of this. So right, that should that should be plenty. And then we can just put our our spare eye back in here. And a uh, our glass piece just to keep keep it safe. Okay, right, we're going to start on our mob tower. Actually, saying that, before we do start, I want to make some um, scaffolds. For that, we need three pieces of wood. I might actually make two lots. And some sticks. We're going to need some more stone for that. One, two, three, four, five, six is all we need of them. Okay. Then we're going to make them. That's when we've got thirty-two scaffolding. That should be plenty high enough for our for our needs. And we want to build it not too close to the monument, not too close to the. Uh, Sorry, to the starting area, not too close to the monument, because um, the monument is in a mushroom biome, so no mobs will spawn over there. And I can't say the same for the spawn, but I believe if it's too close to the spawn, <coughs> oh, excuse me, if it's too close to the spawn, I believe there's like an area that it won't spawn in. Um, so one, two, five, two. Right, we'll make it on this side. And then we're going to want to make a uh, a base about. Well, we're going to want a three by three opening, so we want it bigger than that. And right, we're going to start our. We're going to eventually put a transpose in that in to make it fully automated, so we don't have to keep coming here to pick up drops. Um, so we want our chest here, pipe here. And we can start our three by three area here, I believe. Right, one more there, one more starts there, and then yeah, we'll we'll have our chest here, and then it will go into the area here. So we want to make this this area a bit bigger. And so we want to one, two, three, four. Okay. Okay. Right now we've got our 
area in which we can build our tower. Now, um, like I was saying earlier, mobs will only die if they fall, I believe, um, I think it's something like 20 odd blocks, 28 or something like that. So I'm going to be using all of our scaffold just so we've got, um, so it's nice and tall and we, we don't get any chance of uh, mobs just luckily dropping and uh, blagging the fall, if, if, as it were. Now I'm just building this around the outside just so that we don't get um, mobs spawning around the outside of the tower. Now we want uh, some torches. There you go. And we'll put one in here. And then we'll start building this up. Okay. And we'll bring this across. Okay. Now this will be our little base where the mobs will be dropping into. Um, we will be closing it off eventually when um, when we get the transposition that sorted. But until now, it, it, this will do nicely, and we won't get mobs spawning around the back. And now what we want to do is just build up our scaffolding all the way up, and um, then I'll show you show you like how we'll be build, build how we'll be building the thing. Okay, now what we want around the top here is some glass. Oh, not that side actually. Should have uh, probably checked down the bottom. Right, we're pretty much going to want to uh, copy the pattern we've got down the bottom, but uh, in glass. Uh, one, three, four, five, two, three, four. Five. Yeah. Five. Five. Awesome. Right, that is the uh, the base of our tower. Now, what we're going to want to do is bring each of these sides out. We're going to do three wide for this one. You can just do it two or one wide. It doesn't doesn't really matter too much, but um, it just gives more more of a platform for more ones just to just drop into. Um, I was I was about to say spawn on, but um, they won't be spawning on these because uh, this is going to have the water running running along it, so it will push the monsters down into our little trap. And each of these is going to need to be eight long, including this end piece, because eight is how long a water source will like run along for before it before it just ends. Um, so we want it coming right up to the edge, so the monsters don't just get here and then stop. And um, we want to to knock them right off. So we're going to want to make these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight long, and then uh, three wide again. And as you can see, we are higher than the monument, uh, higher than uh, the spawn area, which is good. So uh, when we do build across, we won't be in intersecting any blocks or anything like that, which is not what we want. Two, three, four, five, seven, eight. Awesome. Alright, what we're going to do, once we've got all these built, I'm actually uh, put a torch on each of these. I'm going to need to go get some more. And this is the one thing I did forget. I'm going to need lots and lots of torches to make sure we don't get any uh, mob spawning while we're building this, because once we're while we're at one end, it may be 
I think it may be long enough, like in the opposite corner sort of thing for a uh, mob to spawn. And we don't want we don't want that just yet. We want we want we are in this is our game. We we are in control. We don't want um yes, we are in control. We want the mobs to be spawning where and when we want them to. So what we're going to do is I I think I may have actually forgotten to teach my table torches. So uh, rather than wasting more uh, EMC see making charcoal, or I don't know if it's actually a waste, probably uh, works out to be about the same. Yeah, there we go. Okay, uh, let's put some of these in. All seven. I may put a mushroom stew in. See what else we get out of that. Um. All right. Let's get a uh, piece of iron. So we don't want to be wasting the EMC of the uh, items we're using. Because we pretty, we pretty much need them all. So, uh, like a ton of torches. Yeah, there we go. That should be plenty. And then we can uh, get back to building. Okay. Oh, I forgot to put the torch back on here. Don't want any mobs spawning down here while we're away. I think the uh, the lava handles that anyway, but. Um, Alright, um, what I might start doing now is the the tower part. Just get that out built out out of the way. Start with two. There you go. And we just uh, build up around this way, or the other way. It doesn't really matter. I find it better to this way. I don't know why. I just uh, get a bit dizzy going the other way. Just every two layers. I believe it works out as uh, every two layers is one stack. I believe, or every uh, four layers, sorry, every two goes of this, like going around. Oh yeah, bugger. Okay. That's what we get. <laughs> well, as you can tell, I turned uh, te connected textures off because uh, I much love the uh, the texture of glass on this texture pack. Um, I love the how it connects to each other, so I don't, I don't want to turn that off. I love this texture pack. Oh, I, I, I don't think I've mentioned this. This texture pack I am using is called uh, Spax by uh, BD Craft. Um, I put this uh, add-on pack together for the Feed the Beast mo bonus map, which uh, you can find on the Feed the Beast forums and on the Spax forums. Um, it contains all the textures for all the mods used in this pack. Uh, I, I don't think I've fa seen one before. I did actually see a um, old Feed the Beast one, but I believe it was for the original map. Didn't it didn't have uh, as many as of the mod mods that is in this pack, so I I put that together. Um, so that anyone that's playing this map or any of the other single player uh, of the latest Feed the Beast single player maps, uh, in Sanity or otherwise, can uh, just have like a full texture pack without having to go and find all the mods themselves. And, uh, I do have permission for all of them, which I uh, didn't actually need to get. Um, Sparkster told me I didn't need to get them, but I, I thought I'd ask anyway. It, it, it's it's nice having like someone come to you and be like, "Oh, I know you don't actually need permission, but uh, I was wondering if I could post this as, as like a full pack." And to be honest, everyone seemed quite like happy that I'd. Uh, Gone and asked permissions even though I didn't need to, so I'm glad I did. But, uh, yeah, so you can you can find that text back on the Feed the Beast forums. Um, it, it didn't take me too long to put together, I have to admit, but um, it just it just saved saved people some time, time and effort, which is as we all know is a very very valuable resource when playing games. So you can just uh, the the install instructions are all uh, in in the pack, so. Or uh, with in the thread, sorry. So it should be easy enough to install for you. Oh, we may, may need to eat soon. Getting a bit hungry. We're almost done with this tower, though. That's good. Glitching a bit there. Put the glass down. There we go. Oh, 
there we go. Right, let's uh, finish this up. Okay, let's uh, finish this up. And then we'll get up there and start work on the actual uh, tower. Alright, let's uh, put one here. And then we can just put this up here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bloody scaffolding. <laughs> so awkward. In the hole. Okay. All right. I I do need to build a a little platform to land in. To be fair, just keep landing with like bugger all hell. <laughs> I may do that uh, sooner rather than later actually, but um, it should be fine for now. Collect all our goodies and head back up. Look, we used almost all of that glass, and we're actually going to need some more. Yes, I did. Hmm. I had planned on making the uh, outer bits out of glass as well, so I could watch them fall. I'm going to do that actually. Um, that should be enough. Should be enough. But I have to admit, this does look very nice. Right, um, what we want to do is take all this out and replace it with uh, glass. Because I much rather like the look of glass than... Uh, we could, well, we, I was going to say we could make the whole thing out of glass, but uh, mobs won't spawn on them, so <laughs> that wouldn't be very, very good, would it? Right. We want um, That's three. Four, six, seven. Okay, uh, we're going to wrap up um, episode three here. There's a nice uh, ending point. Next time, I shall, I shall probably try and get some of this built, uh, the majority built, and then I'll, I'll come and show you um, how it's going to work. All right, see you next time. Bye bye.